Okay, I think we're live now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I got my bug with me again. <laughs> I love Dough Bug so much. This is my new favorite friend. <laughs> Dough Bug is my new best friend. I'm gonna sit over here so everybody can see them. Join the stream. There they are. The bug. There's the bug. You can also see the Garfield DVD. I don't think Garf I don't think that the DVD is actually in there, but it's the box. It, it was at one point Garfield was in there. I think it's I think it's Super Paper Mario in here, actually. Let's see. Yeah, look. It's a game I gotta stream at some point once I can get um once I can get a new sensor bar for my Wii. I don't have to set up two candles or whatever. I don't even think that game necessarily uses the like pointer or anything. But like it's a pain in the ass to use the Wii without the sensor bar. <laughs> so we'll get one of those. So it was Sush and I have money now, so I can afford to buy a sensor bar, finally. And what I really need to afford to buy is a new new headphones and a desktop microphone for myself so that Sasha and I can use those at the same time because currently only one of us can use those at once because mine stopped working. Hooray! I have to borrow Sasha's. Anyway. And the volume like too low. It's cause and stuff's like cut out. I don't think it was cutting out for my viewers, just for me. Hello, welcome to the stream. All right, what do I want to do this? So I have kung fu and I have ice skating available. Um, we'll do kung fu. I like ice skating better, so we'll save that for a second. And then we have the uh, the extra basement levels to do for. Mermaid and Kung Fu and ice skating. So we'll do those too. They really just um I don't I don't like the way Nintendo does their announcements nowadays, because they don't leave anything up to surprise anymore. Cause they they showed off literally every single outfit for this game before it came out. Literally none of them were a surprise. They do the same- well, I guess it's not necessarily just Nintendo, because they don't handle- like, they don't control too much with, um, Pokemon. But Pokemon does the same thing, where they just show all the Pokemon before the game comes out. So, save for, like, a handful, maybe. So I just don't watch trailers for Pokemon games anymore. I just- I just don't want to see it. Like, I don't know, I, I know nothing about the Scarlet and Violet DLC, still. I still haven't gotten them. I will eventually. But I have no idea anything that's in those. I have to be careful watching Pokemon videos to this day, because I'm like, when was this made? Was this made after uh, Scarlet and Violet DLC? Is this going to have stuff in it that I don't know about? Here we go. Yeah. 
Nice of them to just stand there and take it, huh? Like a real action movie. Alright, that's our first sparkle gem. Alright. I'll show you the meaning of pain. Oh yeah, you gotta... Tame it. Scream over the TV. <laughs> Alright, there we go. This is the. This is kind of really just mindless, isn't that? It's just. Press the button. Like, I know this is a good feel game. But, like, this game is simplistic even by good feels standards, I feel. Like... With the exception of Yoshi's Woolly World. Which is really just a Yoshi game. And a very good one. That one's a little bit of an anomaly for uh, good feel, but uh, with the exception of that, it's been they've been kind of on the like this is the trajectory that they've been on. It's like they kind of get simpler over time. You know, because first they had Kirby's Epic Yarn, and then Yoshi's Woolly World, and then Yoshi's Crafted World. Again, Yoshi's Woolly World being the exception because it was like. Just a normal game. Um... Yoshi's Crafted World was way simpler. But I did enjoy it a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. Kirby's Up Again, Yoshi's Crafted World. Both good games in my opinion. Um, and both more complicated than this game, by far. I feel like this game is so simple because they went for so many gameplay styles. And they're always trying to make their games, you know, generally easy. And so to have a whole bunch of gameplay styles and remain easy, like, all the gameplay styles have to be just, like, one note, you know? I mean, not necessarily, but, like, if their goal is to make people think as little as possible while playing the game, then, like, I suppose that's the way that you accomplish that. That Chun Li. <laughs> that looks kind of like Chun Li. I know they're all wearing the same outfit, but you make that outfit in blue. And I'm gonna think Chun Li. Here we go. Get up there. Don't mind if I do. But this level is just handing me the sparkle gems, isn't it? I mean, I'll take it. No, nope, wrong way. Come on. Here we go. Where's the guy who hands out the ribbon? I still haven't found him, though. That's what I really want. At this point. Oh, the guy who hands out the ribbon. No, don't. No, come on. We're leaving. 
Come on, Peach, you're headed out of here. It's another seat. What the hell is that? What a wacky noise. See how you handle this. No problem, sir. The level's over now, isn't it? Yep. That's the end of the level. Thank you. Well... I didn't get the goddamn ribbon, though. So I'm kind of peeved about that. <laughs> Alright, one more level up here, and then we'll go to the basement. And then we'll do whatever the boss is, and then whatever comes after that, I suppose. Alright, next time. It's really hot in the house today. We're starting to get warm weather. I guess it's only 75 today, but uh... It's getting kind of warm in the house. We spin them to death. I don't know how I took damage there, but, uh... Alright. <laughs> Alright, then I'll take it, I suppose. There we go. Oh, is it? Bye-bye. Well, I messed that up. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I would like to start that over, please. Here we go. 
Okay, now I, this doesn't matter, but I'm restarting because why the why am I taking damage here? This is stupid. Come on. Let's not do that. I would prefer not to have that happen. I can't skip any cutscenes. Okay. These ice skating levels have the most, like, Barbie Disney princess vibes, don't they? Out of the whole game, this has the most, like, Barbie Disney princess type of vibes. I know those are two different things, but, um, this is like the combo of the two. I mean, you know, they do make Barbie a princess sometimes. So... Alright, get off the... Get off there. There we go. Alright, let's work again. Doing much better this time. Oh, wait. I've been stupid. Hold on. I'll get one more. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm, I swear. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. This time we win. And by win, I mean I don't miss any of the goddamn sparkle gems. There we go. Okay. Alright, this... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say it's good so far, but I've, that part's been fine every time, so I don't know what I'm talking about exactly. I got surprised with a brand new massive Pan and Colic video today, which I watched the live premiere of. It was great. I'm still thinking about it. It was about invisible walls in the game, and I think the thing that I mostly have been thinking about in regards to it is that mostly invisible walls are not... Like, they're not, like, full, like, tangible walls. And listen, almost none of them are intended. Almost none of the invisible walls in the game are there on purpose, which is... I thought some of them were, had some kind of purpose at first. Before we started getting into it. But they certainly do not. I don't think you can ice skate on top of this float, honestly. We'll come back. Oh, what was I? How was I supposed to help him? That was the ribbon guy, by the way. I don't actually. I don't know how I was supposed to get up there. I tried.
Where did I miss one? Where did I even miss one? This game is so frustrating when you miss the sparkle gems. Where did I even freaking miss it? Oh, there's this goddamn guy again. Mm -hmm. I was telling him, for a second I thought Stull was telling me to punch him. I would do if, if I was asked. I would I'd do it without being asked, honestly. We're gonna punch him anyway. I gotta get them on my side. He gets himself dizzy, that's what I'm supposed to go after him. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, I didn't even have to wait for him to get dizzy. That's bonkers. You said to not be spinning. Or something. I don't know. I guess he just gets dizzy really quick. No? He doesn't have to be dizzy. He just has to not be spinning himself. Alright, where is our pal? There they are. And now we kill him to death. And now he is killed to death. And I've missed another gem somewhere somehow. I have no idea how or where. Thank you so much. I probably missed a pose spot at some point and I have no idea where it was. Wait, I did get the huh? How did I get the ribbon? Maybe I did save the guy, but like it happened just barely off screen or something. And it didn't I didn't see the animation. I have no idea. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> We're just gonna be happy I got it. Alright. The basement. You're gonna tell me to go to the basement, right? Yep. I know, we gotta go to the basement. Mighty rehearsal. Oh, we're going to the basement. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Alright. Let us... ...continue. So we got to do the mermaid one, the kung fu one, and the ice skating one. 
So that's ice skating. I'm gonna go with the mermaid one first. That's Kung Fu. Uh, this is a mermaid. So let's go for that. We'll see how this goes. The mermaid levels are super easy. Um... <laughs> there's not a lot to say about them, honestly. There's not a lot to say about this game in general, to be honest. Like, the more I get through it... The most I can say is, like, it's kind of cute, but it also feels kind of generic and, like, milk toast. And it doesn't really feel like a Mario game. Like, it doesn't feel like a game in the Mario universe. So, Princess Peach really has no business being in this game. Or, like, a, like, I don't know, that's not exactly what I mean, but, like... Like, Super Princess Peach did much better in that regard. But feeling unique and like, you know, like a Princess Peach game, but also feeling like it belongs in the Mario universe still. Where this just... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a Mario game. Princess Peach just feels so generic. I think it's because they like keep put they put her in different outfits and she doesn't have like she doesn't have personality to bring to each of the outfits that so makes them feel like Princess Peach. I don't know if I'm articulating any of these thoughts very well, but like I have one more clam to open. Don't make me leave. Oh, that's a restart. <laughs> that's a restart right there. Okay, don't open the big clams until you've opened all the little clams. Got it. Understood. Okay, there was some money in that one. Okay, so that's the... so I need to wait until that one comes by again. Before I open these big ones. There's another small one I'm waiting for. Here we go. Come on. Boy, you get such a small period of time to go after that one, don't you? You gotta be kidding me. Come on! I had him right there. I'm just gonna hold down the button. I'm just gonna let them just, like, be active right here. What? I... Excuse... Is it even possible? Is it even possible to open that one? I guess not. Oh, hold on. There's more shit over here. Oh, no wonder I was missing it. There's like a whole... There's, I wasn't scrolled all the way over. I also found a bonus area. Alright, well that explains a few things.
collect the money, please? Oh, come on. Here we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go. Okay, much better. It's just for the ribbon. There's this... Oh, the... Yeah, the sparkle gem was, um... We just got it. Alright, so mission accomplished then. Alright, let's go. The whirlpools are getting stronger. Ouch. These waters are the roughest you've ever seen, huh? You haven't seen a lot of water then, have you? You have to deal with these whirlpools? Alright, it's time to sing. And do the rhythm game thing, or the undying battle thing. <laughs> Whichever way you want to consider it to be. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna kick my ass. Freaking missed on, goddammit, so I'm not gonna get the sparkle gem. Oh, I guess I didn't miss it. Okay, well, that's good then. I will complain. Oh, that's all of them. Is that the whole flat? Is that the... That's the entire level, is it? I thought it wasn't even a villain. It's just like, uh... There's a... There's a whirlpool. <laughs> There's a few whirlpools, I guess. Multicolored mermaid ribbon. Well, okay then. <laughs> Alrighty. Some of these levels, they just, they just kind of end. Let's do Kung Fu. Yeah, I'm sure I'll beat this game today. <laughs> I've only got two levels and a boss fight left by the looks of things. Hi, Bissy. How's it going? Boy, it's really hot in here. I should figure out how to open a window, I think. Let me see if I can... 
pull that off. Hold on one sec, everybody. There's a window right over here I want to open. Let me see if I can do it. I think I can. I th I've opened these windows before. There's also this window. Let's see. I did it! Hooray! Windows open. Oh, it's instantly much cooler in here because there's, there's a nice breeze outside. So it's lovely. Trying to prevent us from moving forward here, like those springs in Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, I honestly think the most fun gameplay in this game is Sword Fighter Peach, which is the first one they give you. They just really start you off with the best one. And it's all kind of downhill from there, honestly. Like, Sword Fighter Peach has the fun, like, dodge mechanic and shit. None of these other gameplay modes have anything like that going on. Wait, how did I already miss a sparkle gem? Hello? Where did I miss it? From where inst did I miss? This guy was up here. Oh, there's some shit over here. Okay, thank god I was still able to backtrack from there, uh, or Elena was gonna start getting upset. We're gonna have a famous upset Lena moment. Ouch. Get out of here. Kung Fu Sparkla. <laughs> right, time to spunk us it. I was supposed to jump to match him. I think. What, what, what are we doing here? Oh, okay. This is really something. Right, defeated. Alright, and 
know that guy is defeated as well. There's not a lot to talk about with this game, honestly. I have a severe lack of commentary. Like, what do, we, what, do, what do I even say about this? Oh, I see. It, it all feels very automatic, so, like, I forget that I'm supposed to, like, manually turn around and shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Or maybe not. No, I'm good, I guess. Okay. Fine. I missed two sparkle gems. Where did I miss two sparkle gems? Where were, where was there even room for two sparkle gems? I can find now. We've seen through your movements, we'll finish this in one blow. Wow, well, I just let you have that one. I completely missed the timing and then just sat there and was like, no, you got plenty of time. Try again. So, okay, I'll take it. What's he calling Kung Fu Ribbon? Are you still there, Biss? I could use some chat interaction. I'm not getting nothing today. Nobody's here. <laughs> Thanks for the pogs, Biss. Yeah, that's what they replaced the Pog emote with after things went down with the guy that originally was the Pog. I don't even remember what was wrong with him. <laughs> but I remember it being not great. And so they replaced him with a lizard Pog. Also, oh, look, my bug is here. Oh, Abyss wants to defeat the great evil. As usual. Bye-bye. Alright, wait, I see. Earlier, Bess, I was talking about that this, this theme, this outfit is the most Barbie slash Disney princess vibes that the game ever has. Here we go. This is the Frozen Anna Elsa of, um... Princess Peach. I think- this is gonna sound funny considering what we said about Mario games for years, but the- the lack of Mario stuff in this game makes it feel really generic. Like I've talked about before, like you could swap Princess Peach out for just like, you know, a Barbie doll <laughs> and nothing about the game would feel different, you know? Like if it literally, if it just had, like, if it, instead of just having these generic enemies, it had like Mario enemies, Than like instant improvement, you know. Don't really change anything else about the game. Just just sprinkle in some Mario enemies, you know. Make new versions of those, like they did with Super Princess Peach, you know. Just make it feel part of the world. Make it make it 
like, be meaningful that it's a Princess Peach game, you know? Princess Peach doesn't add anything to this game. She's just here. Like, imagine if this guy was some kind of pre-existing Mario character, you know? Or, like, some pre-existing type of Mario enemy. But, like, made to be like this, you know? Like, what if he was one of the little, like, thief guys from Yoshi's Island or something, you know? Which is what I originally thought the enemies were. But was quickly disappointed. About that. It's, the ex it's literally the exact opposite problem of modern Paper Mario. It's like, where is, where is like, any Mario stuff? Or, 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 or yeah, because in those it's like, where's the unique stuff? And now this is the exact opposite end of the spectrum where it's like, where's the... Where's the stuff that makes this feel like it's part of the Mario world? <laughs> You need a little of both, you know? Like, I wouldn't take away the feats. I think those are a fine addition. But, like, when it comes to the villains, maybe put some Mario stuff in there, you know? That's, uh, I think that would vastly improve the game. Put you in there? Yeah, that would improve the game as well. Get you owning that spotlight. Overall, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this game. Which is really about, like, one of the worst things that there could be about a game, you know? If there's not really anything to say, if it's just... Just kind of plain, you know? Like, if somebody said that about one of my games, I'd be devastated, you know? Like, if they just didn't even have anything to say about it... I think that would be worse than, like, somebody disliking it really badly, you know? Yeah. Diddy Fluff says, it plays. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of a double entendre, too, because all the levels are plays. So you could say, what, what Super Princess... or what's Princess Peach Showtime? Uh, it plays. The game is please. Alright, that's all the regular levels completed. Well, I mean, not 100% completed. At least, not most of them, but <laughs> some of them are 100% completed. So presumably all that's left is the final boss, in terms of what's needed to be done to beat the game. There's more stuff left for 100% completion. Alright, there we go. Final boss opened by the looks of it. Let's see how bullshit this is gonna be. Oh, you're not even gonna let me jump over the heads, huh? You can't even let me have any fun. 
No fun allowed in Princess Peach Showtime. Okay, I was about to get flashbacks to uh, Sonic Unleashed. I have way more than enough, so no worries. If you're gonna gate progress with a with a um with a collectible that is not or like what's what's I'm missing the word. Um if you're going to gate progress with a collectible that is there's a simple word for this, but i it's I've it's Leaving my brain. I can't find it. But if, if you're going to get progress with a collectible that is not 100% necessary for uh, beating the levels, like, then, like, you should only ask the player for far less than the total amount that they can get. So that it's not super painful. <laughs> Don't make the player get all the, all the side collectibles. Just like an amount that's like reasonable to expect that somebody would have gotten along the way, you know? Because then it just makes it an incentive for people to go out of their way to find the hidden collectibles. As opposed to like... We can freaking find every single one of them. And we'll make it really hard to find them. Sorry, I'm just complaining about Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> I have Sonic Unleashed on my brain right now. But we got one more costume by the looks of things. Oh, that's hardly... Well, she's just, she's just, uh... Stealing Rosalina's swag now. <laughs> Radiant Peach. So, Miss, what do you think of this form? Are you there? How do you feel about Radiant Peach? The costume does not fit the hair color. <laughs> she looks very Christmassy. She looks like she looks like a tree topper. This looks like something I would put on the top of my Christmas tree. Yeah, she's steal look, she's even like floating around. She's just stealing. She's just stealing Rosalina's vibes. She's cramping her style. They still haven't given Rosalina her own game, by the way. I'm still not pleased with that. You look cool with anything but light blonde hair, you see? Oh, can y'all hear that? There's an ice cream truck. Right, so I opened the window. Okay. I noticed my microphone picking up something. I think it's the ice cream truck outside. That's wild. So hello, welcome to the stream. Alright, what does Radiant Peach do? That's what I'm curious about, mostly.
Oh, do the gems look so fake? <laughs> Can't believe we finally have a super form in Mario and I went to Peach. <laughs> oh, she shoots. Oops. Oh, she can move pretty fast. Okay. If you're not shooting, she moves fast. Oh, and she can move up and down, too. Okay. Wait, this has just Bella and Wonderworld vibes written all over it, doesn't it? What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so... My big thing that I'm always complaining about and thinking about is that Captain Toad and Rosalina were introduced to the series in the same game. And like, Captain Toad is the one who has become a series mainstay in terms of like the main series games. Captain Toad is in every single game and his theme song is in every game. Um, Rosalina is, like, outside of 3D World, where she was playable. She is relegated to just, um, a spin-off character. Like, Captain Toad got his own game, he's in every single main series game. This is a boss fight designed to be hard for kids, I see. None of the bosses have been hard. Some of them have just been really tedious. This one seems to be new there, thankfully. Even, like, Daisy is getting to have more, like, main series presence in Rosalina at this point. Daisy has been playable in two Mario games, and uh, Rosalina's still only one if you don't count the uh, the port as a separate game, which I don't think I do. I mean, they changed it up a little bit for the port, but only a little bit. The biggest addition was the, uh, the side game, but... The visual noise is amazing, not in a good way, <laughs> I see. Oh, button mashing, my favorite. Is this the entire boss fight? Was that it? No, there's gonna be a round two, right? Come on, the mask is gonna like come back up and and do something more, right? No, that's not the. Come on. Okay. Good. Okay, there's more. Thank goodness. <laughs> Sneeze at the boss three times to win. Let's see what we got. I knew there had to be something more. We weren't gonna end it on me like that. Is it gonna be like- okay, is it gonna be what I was predicting last stream where it's gonna be like a whole level and you have to use like all the costumes? Or whatever? 
maybe? Or is it just more boss fight? Oh, we're looking like a Kirby villain now. Where did the outfit go? I don't know. Well, she just she was like, okay, we're done. I don't have to wear this anymore. I mean, who even cares about this island? All it had on it was a theater. <laughs> Just build another one. Okay, now she looks even more like Rosalina. That's just making her blue. That's just rubbing it in. I mean, come on. Well, and then the next line of dialogue was, come on. Oh boy, a classic Nintendo head and hands boss. Look at her frickin' dress, it's so huge now. Hold B to attack. I think this would have been greatly improved if she had to like scream for a while to attain this farm. More sneezing. This is even more like sneezing because. You just blow it for so long. But they're really just trying to appeal to the frozen Anna Elsa crowd. With this one, huh? I will say, this is a fun spectacle. But I don't really have any other things to say about this. It looks like a Kirby final boss, but it's about 10 times easier than a Kirby final boss. At least it's not that cast that cat boss from earlier. I almost call it a cast. The cat boss was complete bullshit. Annoying as heck. That's my first time even taking damage during this fight. It was just user error. Oops. Problem exists between controller and chair. Wait, this really just has Kirby ending energy. This, are you seeing this? Wow. It's like if Star Allies was mid. Oh my god. This is stuff I want to see them let Rosalina do. Why are they making Princess Peach turn into, like, a space princess? Or whatever. An ascended goddess princess. How come Rosalina can't do that, huh?
They could, they didn't even make her playable in uh, Marion Rabbit's Stars of or Sparks of Hope. You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Super Princess Peach God, Super Princess. <laughs> That's a good, that's a great. I love that. Oh, she says showtime because it's Princess Peach showtime. You yeah, see, I told you this island literally just has a theater on it, and that's it. I don't know why they were so pressed about it being destroyed. Like, oh no, it's the end. Oh no, what will we ever do? Oh no, our theater, it's broken. Posing with all the sparklers as if I care about any of them. <laughs> okay, I like this song. I wish the rest of the music in the game sounded more like this. To go with the theme. Just feel the men, I see. <laughs> It was a video game. I'll put it this way, I like all of the other good feel games that I've played more than I like this one. <laughs> I think this is probably their weakest game. I think my order of how much I like good feels games would be... I'd put Yoshi's Woolly World way at the top. That's definitely the best one. Kirby's Epic Yarn. And then Yoshi's Crafted World, which all of all three of those I like a lot. Yoshi's Crafted World, I think the least. I, I like the least out of them, but I, I enjoyed the uh, I enjoyed the visuals a lot in that one, and I enjoyed the scavenger hunt uh, gameplay that it focused on. Whereas this one, um, <laughs> this one I just don't really have a lot to say about, as I was talking about earlier. It just. It just kind of falls flat in a lot of places, you know? Like, I just, you know, I keep talking about it, but I just, I just really wish it was more tied into the Mario universe. Just in any possible way, you know? It does the only thing, aside from Princess Peach, that ties it into the rest of... Uh, that ties it into the rest of the series is, um... Toad shows up at the beginning. There are two Toads at the very beginning of the game, and that's it. They get kicked out of the- they don't even show up in the ending. They don't even come back for the ending. They get kicked out of the theater at the beginning, and then we don't even see them again at the end. So... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, once- since- this got done pretty quick. Uh, I will be playing uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong as well, once this is over. Because <laughs> they still have to beat that game. So this game is like doing very well, like critically speaking. Like the critics love that. <laughs> I've heard like a, a fair amount of like good stuff about the like like they got a very positive reception from what I've heard, but um, I think it's just it's just not as good as I would wish a Princess Peach game would be. You know, I had high hopes for a new Princess Peach game, and this did not reach any of them, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's the mask just out in the ocean now, I guess. The more you treated this as a bad game, the more you had fun watching it, I see. <laughs> I 
I think out of the two Princess Peach games that exist now, uh, Super Princess Peach is by far the better one. Oh, there's Toad. There they are. Bringing her crown back. Are we going to see another scene after this one? There we go. I do think Peach looks really cute in her ponytail. I'll give it that. The ponytail look is really cute for her. Peach in this render. Ooh, fucking hell, me crown. I presume that was mo meant to be said in more of a British accent, but I'm, I'm not gonna attempt one. <laughs> I know better than to attempt a British accent. Alright, Biss, I'll let you in. Biss, Biss, Biss will say it for us, I presume. Alright, Biss, you're on. Ooh, fucking hell! Me crown! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah, Peach wouldn't want to touch a dirty toad. She has to have, she has to have her, she has to have Stella pick up the crown from the toad for her. <laughs> she couldn't take the t the crown from the toad herself. She had to get Stella to do it. Just want to get her hands dirty. Accidentally brushing them against the toad. Bougie piece of shit, says Fess, yeah. <laughs> no, that's a frickin' render right there. There you go. The crown is comically small for her. That's how it's always been. That's how her crown be. How does it stay put? I don't know. It's really sticky, I guess. Why did it look like the the toads were drawn in there in post? Wait, I never noticed the umlauts of our good feel. Wait, how does that change the pronunciation? Wow, the toads got Mike wazowski would Yeah, Nintendo, good job. Put your logo in a tacky red rectangle. Wow. Your special dress is now on sale. You can decorate the theater now. Hide and seek challenge. Okay. <laughs> Talk to the ninja sparkler for the hide and seek challenge, huh? Alright, let's check out the shop real quick before we move on to Mario vs. Donkey Kong.
But I don't care, I'm moving on. Yeah, still no toads allowed in here again, I guess. They're for the beginning of the game only. Decorate the theater. Why do you need the power of the gems to decorate the theater? Just freaking decorate it. Oh, that's gaudy as hell. But sure, why not? Why is there a poster here? <laughs> With a thing. Alright, what's the special dress? Special mighty dress? The fang dress? Grape dress? Sparkle dress? Radiant dress? Boy, that's gaudy. Oh, that's hard on the eyes. But Lion does. The grape dress is cute, though. I like that. I do like the sparkle dress as well. I'm just wondering the two-tone dress. I like that one. Maybe we'll switch to this one. I like it. The radiant ribbon. Yeah, we'll go with Stella the Sun. That's nice. Well, that's really... Really something right there in the middle. Shock the baby Barbie game has less interesting outfit options than Mario Odyssey. Yeah, they could have made this into more of a fashion game. At least as a side thing, you know? That would have been cool. Like, yeah, they put Peach in like a ton of outfits in Mario Odyssey. Couldn't bring any of those back, huh? Alright, that's Princess Peach Showtime for today. Let's 